2020. I have sabered six bottles of champagne in three days. Um, but I want to start the year off right. Why not? One to grow on, one to something. Keep keep this keep this streak alive. So uh, to change it up, I used the uh, I used the pickaxe yesterday. I'm gonna try using this antique crescent wrench from my great uncle uh, that I took out of his um, his workshop on Great Cranberry Island, and I gave it to Baby Ned as a present. Um, but uh, my partner, uh, Baby Ned's mother, thought that this was not a great toy for a two-year-old. So he's three now. I should take it home again, put it back in his little toolkit. And I've got this uh, this. This half bottle of Biacart Simone Brut Rosé, uh, which is going to be lovely because I'm over here working in the warehouse. Might as well. So I, I'm optimistic. The angle is a little bit weird. Also, where's the scene? There's the scene. Okay. Totally unprepared for this. Let's see how this goes. Yes! I think with sabering champagne or wrenching it, or um, hatcheting it, or macheteing it. I think the key is just that you really have to commit. You can't halfway do it. You have to really go for it. Anyway, um, so this is uh, a blend of Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and Chardonnay. Uh, Biacart Simone. Oldest continuously family-owned champagne house, uh, founded in 1818 by Elizabeth Samon and uh, Nicolas Francois Biacart. Um, when they got married, they combined their family's vineyards. Uh, so the wines pretty much all come from like their own vineyards that they control. Uh, they farm pretty sub uh, sustainably. One of the real interesting things that I think sets these wines apart the fermentation happens at very low temperature and then I'm totally this is just from like memory off the top of my head I believe they go through a two-stage uh, it's a very long cold fermentation if it's I want to say it's different from the Brut Reserve and the Brut Rosé um, this oh, and for the different grape varieties uh, but I think this might it's either five weeks or seven weeks is how long the fermentation is um, and then they do a two-stage, like, cold settling stabilization process where they get the wine extremely cold, and that forces a lot of the, like, sediment and solids to settle out of the wine, but it's just a, like, basic, um, what would I call that, natural process, like, mechanical process. They're not adding any clarifying agent or filtering it or doing any anything like that. It's just the, like the physics, the chemistry of like when you get a heterogeneous mixture, a liquid cold, it, it uh, forces it to settle out and separate. Um, so it allows them to like clarify and clean the wine without actually having to filter or add anything or do anything like that at all to it. Um, and then, so all the grapes, the Chardonnay, the Champagne, the Pinot Nier, are all fermented as white wines. They're all like direct pressed off, no skin contact. Biacart makes a very small quantity of Pinot Noir as red wine and then they add a very small portion of that to the what is going to be the rosé champagne and that's what makes it rosé so that they have very very fine control, very fine tuning. Now I'm going to drink this and enjoy it and then I'm going to go inside and I'm going to work on inventory and just moving boxes around because that's my job. I move boxes. I am a box mover. I'm a longshoreman. A stevedore. Here's the stevedores in 2021. Very fine, dry, sort of like dried rose petals aroma. A little bit of like dried peach, apricot. Mm, it's very pretty kind of delicate ah boy the finish the finish is very pretty 
and also very long and kind of citrusy kind of orangey and like orange meaty like orange fleshy pithy quite nice great well i've kept you here long enough go enjoy your new year's day i'm gonna go back to um stevedoring so happy new year's